G'day guys, I'm Sam Williamson, a recent graduate here from the University of Melbourne with a Bachelor of Science. I swim breaststroke for Australia and recently got back from the Commonwealth Games with a little bit of extra luggage, a couple of medals in the bag. Alrighty guys, here we are today with Com Games athlete Sam Williamson. Has this always been a dream of yours? And if so, when did you start dedicating yourself to that goal? The age of nine or 10 during the 2006 Com Games in Melbourne, something struck a nerve. And I think from that moment, I always knew it was, it was always a goal of mine to be able to represent Australia. So you were awarded the Blues Award in 2016 and 2019 for your performance in the Uni National Swimming Championships. What role did such achievements play in helping you climb to an international stage? Having the opportunity to get around the country and race against some of the best athletes here, it's you know an invaluable experience in preparation for a world-class mate. Do you have any tips with balancing your social, academic and athletic life? The biggest thing I've learned is just be incredibly organised, like a busy athlete and a busy student is a good athlete or a good student. While it's pretty difficult at times, I think just try and stay organised and be as proactive as possible. Have there been certain communities or resources you've accessed to maintain this balance? The help I've received from the EAP program has been uh, invaluable. I think just everyone here, all the staff here, have been very helpful when it's come time to juggling the demands of my sport, especially with the, you know, pretty full-on travel routine that I've had, especially around uh, exam time. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help from the EAP guys. Run us through what a day in the life of Sam Williamson looks like. So my alarm goes off 5.40 every morning on pool deck from about 6.30, mm -hmm. you know, 6.20, 6.30 in the morning, doing a heap of 20 to 40 minutes of um, pre-work, activation, a lot of like injury rehabilitation work. In the water for two, two and a half hours most mornings and then we'll head off to the gym, mm -hmm. either do a strength and conditioning circuit or I'm on the bike getting some aerobic work in. Mm -hmm. Head home for probably the third meal of the day at that yep. point, get a quick two hour nap in mm -hmm. before lunch and then it's just rinse and repeat straight back to the pool and we do it all over again. How did it feel to receive the call up to make your Commonwealth game debut? Being able to put on the green and gold is, you know, it's always been a dream of mine so that's something I'm never gonna forget. Do you have eyes on Paris? the pinnacle of sport is being able to go to the Olympics. So I'd be silly to say I don't have my eyes set on it. It's, you know, a long 12 months of hard work, but if I put my head down, I'm, who knows what can happen. Yeah. Might see him there, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are today for our quick coffee break. Let's start nice and easy. What are we drinking? Uh, water. <laughs> Summer or winter? Winter. Best place you've ever swum? Oh, Birmingham. Morning person or night owl? Probably a morning person. Last Google search. What is syndesmosis? <laughs> Dog or cat person? Can I say both? If you are doing breaststroke, what's your favourite stroke? Doggy paddle. <laughs> Would you rather have more time or more money? More time. A social media trend you'd like to see disappear? Uh, all of it. <laughs> favourite sport that's not swimming? Ooh, football. Beach or snow? Beach. Favourite hobby outside of swimming? Cooking. Favourite dish to cook? Sticky date pudding. Favourite cuisine? Italian. Favourite movie? Back to the Future. Favourite genre of movie? Action. Thank you for joining us today for the coffee break. Thanks for having me. This has been Sam Williamson, Unfiltered. <laughs> Just wanted to know, guys.